back here with another episode of GT5 Online, really just GTA Online, and we are back again with another episode, and uh, I've been buying and selling a couple of cars lately, um, sold by Wagner, uh, sold a, something else, I forget what it was, oh, sold by uh, 0380, sold by Wagner, bought this, buying and selling cars all the time has been totally worth it, it has made all all the difference like seriously i literally have a tank with a 50 cal boost and jump oh and not to mention it's near invincible to water near so anyways what i was actually planning on doing was me and my friend were hunting for a ghost earlier so i'm gonna have to head back over to the location and find it. Now there's a ghost of Mount Gordo, which is right about inside of the hairpin, right about there of that trail. It only spawns from 11 to 12 p.m. So I have to get there fast. It's currently about, uh, it's currently about 8 p.m. So we have four minutes to get there because every hour in GTA is a minute. So we really have to fly over there. What I love about this tank specifically is it is crazy fast for what it is. It's a tracked vehicle and boy it hauls. I mean it's not the fastest obviously but it's still decently fast. It's we got boosts and jump like I showed you earlier. Which has been decently useful but I haven't really had a need to use it. Not to mention this thing is nearly indestructible. I got five stars in this and escaped. Yeah, um, uh, I did record the footage, but it got corrupted again, like the time, um, uh, whenever I actually got, um, uh, into the Hall of Fame in FH5, uh, the footage got corrupted, so I couldn't even show it. I was literally freaking so mad. Anyways, um, oh, frick, frick. Jump over the highway. So we're gonna have to find that uh, this shaky hiking trail, which is right here, I believe. Yeah, right here. And I'll basically follow this hiking trail all the way up here. The train's passing overhead. Yeah, it is a bit undrivable because it can't really rotate in one place. You have to uh, step on the throttle. It doesn't really have like accurate tank steering almost. Uh, it's almost just like one side gets a little lessened compared to the other in terms of power. So you have to power over this. Fly up that. That only took us like a minute. So it's about 9 p.m. So you just gotta wait a couple more minutes. It should spawn around here somewhere it spawns towards the inside hairpin not the inside exactly of this hairpin but right around there on this on that rock i'm pretty sure so we gotta back up i'm actually surprised on how some i mean it has decent grip but it also has like bad grip So we're gonna get up here, and I guess we have to wait one and a half more minutes, cause it's from 2300 to uh, 2400, pretty sure. Or maybe 2400 to um, zero, I guess, maybe. So we may as well uh, just wait for it to spawn, and I'll begin recording whenever it does. So it should spawn right about now. No, I gotta wait another minute. I don't even know if this is real. It might uh, be only in um, and only in story mode. But my friend uh, said that he saw it once in online with his friend, uh, like right by him. 
When the heck is it gonna spawn? Gonna wait about another minute in order for it to spawn, I guess. There's just a facility down there. I do uh, see that. So maybe I can hop on the internet real quick and find what that is. Where this uh, facility is. Yeah, so we are right up here by the Mount Gorda facility. It's 1.4 million. Forget the scare stories. There are no ghosts and no one does yoga here. No ghosts, huh? No ghosts yet, but we're about to find the first. One, the anticipation is real to see if this is actually real or not. We have about 15 seconds. A little more, because I think every second is actually one and a half seconds. In a GTA. I'm really hoping it spawns soon. I've been waiting for a while. I'm trying to do this like all, the whole time. Now, if one day in GTA is 48 minutes, I think that every second that every second is actually every minute is actually two seconds. Huh? It never actually spawned. Huh? I guess it really is an online. I mean, not an online. Literally nothing is here. Man, that's a bummer. Huh. Well, I guess you can't always be the Ghostbusters. There's something else I should point out, and that's the fact that I have actually found a radio tower up here. I can get to it, but now we're not going to get to it. But man, that's a bummer. That was all just a hoax. Well, not really a hoax. I guess it's purely in story mode. But I do know that they are incorporating some online, uh, actually some uh, story mode features in online. Like um, adding AI cars that are only in story mode. Like I literally found an AI Huntley once. Uh, like, no, I'm not even joking, I literally found an AI driving a, um, Enos Huntley, which is actually a story mode only AI car, which is actually pretty crazy. There's a bunch of other, uh, story mode only, uh, cars I found in online as AI cars and stuff, which is actually pretty crazy. But yeah, I guess ghost hunting was a bust. Man. There's one last thing I want to try, because I just noticed this thing has a tow hitch. If I could do a boat with this, then I'm going to be very happy. Because that's going to be one heck of a boat day. It's daytime now, and I realize that that tow hitch is actually um, a winch. So that was a bit of a fail. But there is something else I did want to try. I have been looking for a vehicle with a trailer for a while, but there is one vehicle, but obviously, eh, I don't really know if I should do a video on it, because it's a, one of the more popular vehicles in the game, the Night Shark. It has a tow hitch, so I was looking so I was looking for a vehicle with a trailer to see if any trailer could hook up to a Night Shark. Even a trailer with a boat on it, which I think could be really cool to uh, try and deploy. Uh, a boat in the water. Oh no, speaking of which, there's a boat. Wait, there's an action figure! There's an action figure right here. Look. Boom! Right on the little ship here. Cool. I wonder if there's any more on it. Oh, there goes the train. I'm gonna get my, um, scarab. A little closer. This is a this is a retired marquee, but it looks like it's an older model of it, considering the whole thing is made out of wood. I can't jump on. 
Maybe if I jump on the owl. Ooh, spooky noises. <laughs> Alright, so let's get up. Let's, I, I want to get on this. You can get on this. I don't exactly think those um moaning sounds coming from the ship are particularly in normal. Uh, just saying. So yeah, this has also been a kind of creepy episode because first we tried to hunt ghosts, then we saw a ship making some weird noises. I have no idea what's going on, but uh, oh well, that's actually pretty close. I do have to protect, oh, we have to protect those crates. I may as well, I mean, hey, I'm in a tank. This thing isn't the most durable though, the windows at least aren't the most durable. Oh, he died. ruin this for him. I don't want to ruin this for him. I just want to uh, take air and stuff. Yeah, this thing is actually very good at flips. I am now noticing. So anyways, there's not really much left to do, so uh, I guess I might as well just end the video off here. There's one thing I want to do, and it's get on this thing. I, I can't... It, it's stuck. It, it's stuck. Stuck. One last thing, and it's get on this. It could totally do it. I totally called it. And boom. There we go. We're on the roof. We're superior. So I may as well just end the video up here, because well, there's nothing really left to do. So, that out of the way, I guess. Well, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!